Hey, what's up guys? Bjorn from Jurassic Park Tribes here and this video is going to be about transferring your tribes from floating hatchery to your main tank. Uh, you can also use this method to just uh, clean the water from a floating hatchery. It's also possible. Um, also, if you're not familiar with the floating hatchery method, please feel free to have a look on my channel where you can find a more detailed video about the use and preparing a floating hatchery, uh, Triassic Park Triop style. Basically what it means is that I'm using these little containers uh, floating inside a uh, aquarium. So I first prepare an aquarium and then I will prepare a hatchery as well. The tribes will stay in here for about uh, 12 to 14 days, let's say two weeks. And while they are inside this container, your aquarium had the time to cycle in a little bit. Like two weeks is fine, I guess. Some people say it would not, it would be better to use like to wait for like a month. But for me, two weeks is fair enough as well. So let's get back to the hatchery. Um, this is one of the floating hatcheries that already has been set up and running for several days. As you can see, there are some tiny little triops inside. Um, those are triops uh, Mauritanicus, which is a new species for me. So I'm really interested in how they are going to look, uh, what their behavior will be like. So uh, what I usually do is I have to clean these little containers, uh, these hatchering hatcheries. So what I will do, I will usually just use a uh, 10 milliliter syringe and I will just start to remove water from it really slowly. Make sure that you're not actually sucking your triops into the syringe because um, the intake is pretty small. And if a small triops uh, will enter the syringe, it's possible that their head will actually fold uh, backwards. So it's dangerous for them to get uh, sucked into these uh, syringes. So please be careful. Don't suck up your triops with a syringe or a pipette. I also have the pipette, of course. So. Uh, what I've already done, I already removed the water from this hatchery. It's inside this container. As you can see, it's a little bit darker than this type of water. That's because there is tannin inside this water and that's coming from the leaves. Basically, that's a brown uh, color pigment that's released from the leaves and it colors your water a little bit brown. It's fine. So, no problem over there, but I can also see that the water uh, has been a little bit, become a little bit older. So. Uh, what I'm going to do next, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit more about uh, transferring some water from the container. Actually, like I told you guys, you can just remove some water, uh, not too much. I usually remove one third. I use this line to make sure I never remove too much or uh, too little. So I would say remove one third usually when I clean them up. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some clean water that you use to set up your hatchery. Make sure it's the same water quality, otherwise some things could be uh, going wrong. Just don't dump it into there because the trials will actually get um, kind of, you know, like uh, pushed away by the stream of your, by the jet of your um, syringe. So I usually do it this way. Just make sure it enters the container really slowly. The trials won't get blown around. It's way better. So I just added one syringe. Usually I have to add like 10 of these. That's just 100 milliliters. This container is uh, 0.5 liters. So I usually have to put like 50 syringes into a uh, container to fill it up to where I want it to be. Right now I'm just gonna uh, continue this. This is just uh, boiled rainwater, so it was the actual uh, same quality of water that I started the hatchery with. But in case you want to transfer your traps to the main aquarium, you could also start to uh, inject some um, aquarium water into the hatchery to actually have them uh, acclimate to the type of water that's inside your aquarium. It's really important because rainwater is definitely different than the water that I'm using inside my aquariums. Uh, inside the aquariums there is tap water and I usually treat the tap water with uh, these Tetra AquaSafe uh, bottles. Uh, it basically removes chlorine and uh, also other harmful substances that can be in our tap water. It's not harmful for humans but it's definitely harmful for triops. So make sure your aquarium water is safe before you start to transfer the water from your uh, aquarium to a hatchery. Because basically you can kill them if the water quality is wrong. 
Um, to find out if the water quality is right, I usually use a basic six in one quick test to make sure the nitrate is not, not high, uh, to make sure the pH level is okay. And usually after two weeks, the water is pretty safe as well. So um, then it's time to decide uh, on which day you want to transfer them. For this, I usually look at the intake of my filter, make sure that the trials that I'm trying to transfer are at least bigger than the intakes of my filter, just to make sure they cannot get sucked into the filter as well. Right now, they are pretty small, definitely not big enough to get transferred yet. But let's say they are on day five or six right now. So in three days, when it's day nine, I usually start to transfer just a tiny bit of aquarium water to the hatchery. This is just to make sure they um, get acclimated like really slowly. The next day, on day 10, I also remove some water, let's say two syringes, and I put two syringes of aquarium water back into the hatchery. On day 11, I usually take then uh, like three syringes out, and I will put three syringes of aquarium water, water back into the hatchery again. When you're like on day 14, uh, usually most trial species have already become adult and they are pretty big. So then it's possibly time to transfer them. In the meanwhile, you already transferred so, mon so many times the aquarium water to the hatchery that it actually did become like almost the same quality like your aquarium water. And this means it's safe to start to transfer them. So usually start on day nine and I will end on day 12. I usually take three days to uh, acclimate, acclimate the triops and... Um, like on day 12, they should be big enough to be transferred to the aquarium. If not, you can always still uh, keep transferring the water until it's day 14. When uh, two weeks have passed, it's definitely time to uh, move them on to the big tank. Because how longer you keep them inside your hatcheries, they will remain a little bit smaller as well. Because they kind of acclimate themselves to the room they have, to the space room or space they have. So it's always better to have them inside an aquarium because right here, over here, they can grow way larger than inside these little containers. So to me, it's really important to transfer them as soon as possible to the main tank where they can eat from the leaves, from the plants. It's like way better for them. Also, there is like way more oxygen, oxygen inside this tank than just in a little container which has like completely non-moving water. So, I guess it's time to start transferring a little bit more of the water. Um, as I told you guys, this is just rainwater, so this is not aquarium water yet. I will start to do this in three days. But basically, I use the same method to uh, exchange the water from the hatchery. It's the same method, just using a syringe. You can also choose to use a hose, but a small hose can actually remove too much water in such a short period that you can actually make uh, your hatchery like become completely dry. So just make sure you're really uh, careful with this process because there are tiny animals living inside it as well. So usually I just keep doing this for about like 10 times. Then I uh, exchange like 100 milliliters of water from a 0 0.5 milliliter um, container that's like 20% uh, or something, so that should be enough. And just make sure the water looks like clean, uh, no weird smell coming from it. Uh, the weird smell can often uh, mean there is like a lot of pollutants in your water. It's definitely time to change your water. Um, but as you can see, I also have like a tiny little sprout of uh, an oxygen plant inside the hatchery as well. It helps a little bit removing uh, the bad uh, minerals and uh, bad substances in your water as well. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, if you got any questions uh, regarding your, which, uh, how many days you will have to wait regarding uh, which species you got, feel free to just drop a comment. Um, I will try to help you guys out as well, like with other species. Um, this is Mauritanicus, so um, it's a pretty fast-growing species as I have experienced right now. 
So I guess they should be um, ready on day nine or something to start start transferring. But I also had like a, a cankerform species which actually needed like the full 12 days before I could start transferring the water because they are slow growing trout species and they actually need a little bit more time uh, to grow before they are able to be transferred to the main tank, which is basically um, really necessary for them to grow like to make sure they don't enter the filter just to be sure um i've had it happen happening like once or twice maybe that i actually added um two small triops into the aquarium that actually did get sucked into the filter but yeah it happens sometimes um no stress though um i'm doing it better right now definitely <laughs> So that's it guys, I hope you guys understood the message that I tried to uh, bring you guys. You can actually acclimate your um, hatcheries um, before you're transferring them to the main tank. This will help a little bit more with uh, making sure the tank is safe as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope it was clear enough. If not, feel free to just drop a comment and I will try to elaborate in the comments as well. Um, hope you enjoyed, see you next time guys.